you're looking for a board to do some urban jibbing on, uh, this is gonna be the one that you're looking for. What's up everyone? Bobby Chatterton here, snowboard expert at curated.com. Today I rode the 2022 GNU Headspace C3. All of this information is completely unbiased and I am not sponsored or affiliated with any brands. This board is fun. It is GNU's C3 camber dominant profile. Uh, so if you look at the edge, it does present more like a camber than a hybrid profile. So this board actually features an asymmetrical edge design. That design is to make your edge to edge transitions easier. So I took this board through Keystone's Area 51 Terrain Park. I took this on a couple groomers and I took it through a quick tight tree run. Got a little bit of dust on crust. Overall, I would say this board primarily excels in the park. If you're taking this on bigger jumps, you might find it a bit washy in the landings, but if you want to jib on this thing, it's going to be phenomenal. The flex is perfect for butters. If you want to hit some big, deep nose presses, it's going to respond just how you want it to. On the groomers, I did notice that the ASIM edges made turn initiation a little bit easier. Through the side hits, it was poppy, not as poppy as I would have liked it to be. Uh, I did notice that mild rocker section right here puts a little bit of dampness in the board. At speeds, it was not the most stable board that I've ever ridden. I would say that it does well at speed, but if you're looking for something that's really gonna excel and you wanna haul Mach 1 down some groomers, you're gonna want traditional camber over a hybrid profile for sure. Given its C3 camber dominant profile, it's gonna be great for the more intermediate to advanced rider who's looking for like a dedicated jib board. For the perfect gear for your next adventure, make sure to head over to curated.com. And if you want to see more content from Curated, make sure to hit that subscribe button.